Hey Empress, hey Empresses, how are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Someone liked this video for you, y'all, so don't forget to like it for someone else that may need to hear this message. First things first before we begin, I only have one YouTube page, one Instagram page. It's at Mecca Dreams. Don't get scammed, okay? You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, OG, please come down and protect me. As I channel this different energy, please and thank you. Holy Spirit, please come down and guide me, protect me, and cover me. And please come down and cover the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Moon. Please and thank you. What do they need to know about what's going on in their life? Currently, what do they need to know? All right, Taurus. Oh, somebody about to come in after you. Okay, somebody about to fight for you. Somebody here is, is coming in as like a, <laughs> as like a knight in shining armor. I don't know what my cat got going on, y'all. But just like that, they're going to be pouncing on you. Okay, it's going to be like, what's going on? Okay, y'all have doing drugs. Someone here is definitely doing drugs with destroying themselves, knowing that they effed up at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, we have betrayal. Mm. Okay, with insecure at the bottom of the deck. We have total drama in action. Total, I'm hearing total drama island. Every time I see this card, I hear total drama island. And that show was about competing. Okay, total drama island. Listen, I'm so, <laughs> it was about competing. It was about like a group of people. Some of them dated on the show. Some of them didn't, but they was trying to get money or something like that. I, I Look it up. It's a cartoon, but it was like a, it was a really good cartoon. It came out, I don't know, maybe a few years ago. I'm here in Total Drama Island, but this is Total Drama action going on in your life. Okay. Someone here could be talking to different people about it. Okay. At the nail salon, they could be venting about what's going on, about your business, talking about your business stories. Oh, and we have date night in the reverse. So admission for one in the reverse, okay, with love story once upon a time. All right, so this is definitely like someone not wanting you to be alone. Someone could have codependency issues. They may not, they may not like to be alone. They could lack self-love, okay, because it's admit for one. So it came out in the reverse. Somebody doesn't know how to be alone. Yeah, behind the indigo door. Mm. All right, what's this doing drugs for Taurus? Ooh, Taurus, somebody's pregnant. So somebody, oh, listen, oh my God. I hope this isn't the case, but someone could be pregnant and they could be doing drugs. They might, they may not know they're pregnant. They could know they're pregnant or they could have a pregnancy scare. Okay, someone here is pregnant or they may, they, they could be having a pregnancy scare. They're doing drugs. They're overindulging in drugs. This could be alcohol. Nefertari, stop it. I don't know what's going on with y'all energy, but my cat is bugging out. She ain't never do this in a reading before. So it's definitely something going on with this energy that just ain't right. Okay, yeah, doing drugs. Yeah, it's something to do with pills, alcohol. Something is, is not good here. Okay, someone here is doing more than they should in regard, like, more. I'm here. If this could be like prescription. So someone here got like, like they could be prescribed drugs, so they could be taking more than they, you know, more than they are normally supposed to be taking. What is this about? Yeah, so this is someone that's talking a lot. Okay, they could be venting about what's going on in their life. This is someone that's writing things out. Someone here doesn't know if they're pregnant yet. Yeah, they're trying to avoid the tower from taking place. The tower came out in the reverse. Somebody here is trying to avoid a tower. They're trying to avoid catastrophe from taking place in their life. They're trying to vent to different people to try to figure out what to do. Okay. It's something about someone being um, confused about who is salt and who is sugar. 
What's this betrayal? Somebody here could have backstabbed you, betrayed you, okay? Someone here could be pregnant. You could have gotten somewhere pregnant. You could be pregnant by this individual. They could be betraying you, deceiving, like deceiving you, backstabbing you. This is a snake. They're venomous. They're a traitor. They're not to be trusted. What's this betrayal? Yeah, and they're doing sex magic on you. Someone definitely could have gotten pregnant by you. You could be pregnant. or This is someone that's been betraying you, literally. And they're doing tantric sex. They're doing sex spells, sex magic on you. Someone is narcissistic or they're, they feel entitled with spoiled being here. What's this tantric sex? Yeah, this could be someone that you have a family with. You may be trying to disconnect from this person or they feel you trying to get away from them and they're trying to do some type of spells because they they don't they don't hate anything about you. They want you to to be with them. They want you they want you with them. Yeah, they're doing things behind your back and then they're burning evidence so that you don't know that they're doing it for us. <clears throat> oh, this is somebody. You need to check yourself, but they need to check themselves. What's this total drama? So you need to be mindful of who you're sleeping with. What's this total drama? Somebody's full of drama. There's, I'm telling you, and it's a caution, okay? You could be connecting to a copycat energy. Somebody here could have left you for a copycat energy, a fraud, a clone, a lookalike, somebody that's trying to be like you or wants to be like you or vice versa. Take it how it resonates, y'all, okay? But there's something about being cautioned here. Yeah, because somebody is literally destroying themselves. They're, they're shattering themselves. They're destroying themselves. They're, they're making bad decisions, careless decisions. And game is over. It's about to be a breakup, some type of separation. Something is getting ready to come to the light here. What is this date night for one? Somebody here is codependent. Yeah. This could be someone that's saying, okay, I'm just going to focus on the children now. Okay. Someone here definitely didn't want to be single. They didn't want to be single. But there's a breakup. There's some type of separation. I said this. I, I could feel it. There's a breakup that's inevitable. Somebody's trying to avoid the inevitable. The tower in the reverse is trying to avoid the inevitable. Someone trying to avoid karma. Someone trying to keep things together when God is trying to break it down. Someone trying to keep things in alignment when nothing is in alignment. Okay, this is also um, avoiding catastrophe from taking in your from taking place in your life, you getting out of dodge in the nick of time. What's the um the tower card in the reverse about? Somebody can no longer put on a show. I'm telling you, somebody here can no longer put on a show. It's going to be revealed that they're a fraud. They keep trying to fight for what they think that they want. Okay, they're coming in for what they're coming. They're claiming what's yours. Somebody here is trying to fight with you because they feel like what's yours is theirs. It's a copycat energy in this mix that is trying to claim God's blessing for you. Mm. Let's continue. What does Taurus need to know about this situation here? So you're dealing with someone toxic. Okay, and they want a stronghold on you. You could be dealing with a karmic. You could be dealing with the devil energy, an agent of the devil, somebody that is toxic, karmic, low vibrational, very obsessive, very possessive. Look at this. Y'all think I'm playing with y'all, right? Because I saw y'all. I, I could hear y'all thoughts talking about. Oh, she cut the deck, and the deck. Um, it, it could have been no, no. I didn't cut the deck any type of way. I cut the deck and what showed itself, showed itself, and I read the message for the people that are non-believers. Get the F off my channel. You are not welcome, and I rebuke y'all energy because I can hear y'all talk. Y'all dealing with someone, y'all dealing with this mother freaker, okay? And he wanted to come out, so we're going to talk about it. <clears throat> this person has been doing a lot of work on you, Taurus. A lot of work on you. Somebody is toxic, they're low vibrational, they are not to be trusted, they're narcissistic. You could be sharing a home with this individual, okay? Or, they, or you could be in a relationship with this individual. Something is low vibrational, it's unhealthy, it's negative, it keeps you away from God, it stagnates you, it has a deep control and bondage over you. Somebody wants to put chains on you, they want to lock you down and keep you stuck and stagnant as always. You're dealing with a devil energy that wants to kill, steal, Destroy your happiness, your purpose, your calling, your mission, your blessings, your faith in self, your faith in God, any type of love in your life because God is love. 
okay? You're dealing with a true devil in your life. It's time for you to step into your power and choose to be single, choose to be independent, choose to be self-sufficient, choose to focus on you, your stability, your financial security, you believing in you. Why is the devil cry wanted to show itself as I cut the deck and why did it pop out? Because this person is taking action towards you. It could be a cancer that you're dealing with or you could be dealing with a Capricorn. This person wants to take action to communicate to you. They, they've been overflowing you with a lot of info, information. Take it. They want to they bombard you. What's this page of wands about? Yeah, it's something to do with an opportunity with money. Okay? So somebody here could overindulge in money and sex and drugs and alcohol. Okay? They could have a deep temptation or lust. They could fall temptation to low vibrational things. They, they do whatever, speak with whoever, um, steal um, deceive, cheat, lie, manipulate to get a dollar, ace of pentacles. There's something about a new opportunity that's coming towards you that this devil energy wants. Okay, what, what's the devil card? It needs to come to an end. This devil is obsessed with ending things in your life. This could even be putting you in the damn ground for some of y'all. Somebody here is obsessed with putting endings to you. The death could be a physical ending or they're put or just ending to different things in your life. What's the death card about? <clears throat> Yeah, somebody here does not want you to have the strength to overcome anything. They, this, the strength card beats the devil. So the strength card coming out in the reverse. Y'all are falling temptation to this devil energy. Y'all are not, at this time, y'all are not beating this devil in your life. Y'all are succumbing to it. This could be a mindset. This could be a behavior. This could be a person. This could be a relationship. This could be a job. This is a stronghold. The devil is about a stronghold. You could be obsessed with wanting something to the point where you're, you're moving away from your morals, values, beliefs. Okay, you could be using your spiritual gifts and talents and working with the devil. So you could be, you, it could be a shortage in regards to things that you want because God is taking things that it's like he's not going to let you use his gifts and talents that he wanted you to use for the kingdom. And you're using it to work with the devil, you're using it to, 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 as I was saying this, he's not going to do that. What's the strength card? It's like something about you being, yeah, there's some type of magic being done over y'all. The moon card, cancer energy, again, this is all about, um, this is all about having to use your discernment, having to use your intuition. Look at this. It's somebody, somebody's doing deep spell work over y'all. In the spiritual realm, they could do it at night. Okay. This is hidden motives, hidden agendas, secrets, lies, deception. You having to use your intuition because what you feel like is taking place is not the truth. It's not what it is. Yeah, there's a choice that needs to be made. You guys have the four of swords, the wheel of fortune, the sun, the seven of wands, and my tarot card. Okay, so it's time for you to get out of some type of mental strife that you could be in at this time about making the right decision for your life, about your destiny, about your purpose. God is going to be exposing the truth to you and giving you divine clarity that you need so that you can stand your ground and make the right decision. This could also have to do with tarot. Someone could be getting readings done on you. This is my readings card as well. This came with the deck. So when it pops out, it lets me know somebody's doing readings on you. They're, they're trying to gather information on you using tarot, spirituality, okay? Someone here is it does dark spell work on you. The, the, the devil with the moon card, this is darkness, but the sun beats the devil. And the sun is in the upright. So there's a choice. God is going to give you an opportunity to be gravitated back to him, to choose him. But it's going to take... You having to really stand up for yourself, seven of wands, really putting, you know, firm boundaries in place because somebody has you under deep illusions. What's the moon card about? Deep illusions, deep illusions, which is going to make you lose everything. The ten of pentacles in the reverse is losing everything. This is someone that you are confused about if it's love or if it's real love, which is why it came out sideways. They are doing things on you. This was the plan all along, the three of wands. Somebody was waiting for the ships to sail, waiting for the plan to be orchestrated to take place to happen. Could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, someone has children. It could be a divorce that getting ready to take place, fighting over inheritance, money, home, children, assets, okay, investments. It, 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 it's a travesty taking place. It could be a falling of an empire, a business empire. Somebody's getting ready to lose it all. Y'all think I'm playing with y'all?
Y'all think I'm playing and I'm not. This is a warning message. And I'm hearing it loud and clear. Something cannot be healed. Someone cannot be healed. They could be suffering from something that they cannot heal from with the star in the reverse. Or this is someone that wants you to lose all hope and faith in God, in yourself, in your spirituality, in your religious beliefs. That love really exists. Somebody here is at a complete loss of life, loss of faith, loss, a loss of, of renewal in self. The, the, the star is something that cannot be healed in the reverse. This is something that is, is oof, against the cosmos. The star is not being able to connect to up above at all. At all. You could be, someone here could be militant. You could be dealing with someone that's very aggressive, hostile, angry. What's the star? You need to move forward away from this. And this is what's going to help you heal. Sagittarius energy. Can't, you need to move forward. And this is you overcoming things, overcoming trials, tribulations, obstacles, things that you feel like, you know, it, it keeps you out of strife, out of stronghold. What's that? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? There's a new opportunity coming in. Virgo energy is here. Somebody here has been gathering information on you and it fell right on top of the tarot cards. Somebody here has been getting work on you doing spells or trying to find out information on you okay using tarot look at this it, it could even be for some of y'all an investigator that's watching you so someone could have hired hired an investigator or an official a police official with the hermit card being here this is like an investigator energy. Somebody's been gathering info in regards to what they need to do to either cause drama. Ace of Wands is also like a fight card, drama card, or what your new start is going to be. How to, what's the hermit about? Somebody here has been trying to gather information, okay, again, to try to figure out how to avoid a tower, how to avoid something from falling apart, how to avoid being left out in the cold five of pentacles how am i going to avoid being left out and somebody here does not want to be left they don't want to be left behind what's the tower they don't want a tower to fall yeah you need to get out of some type of regret five of cups you need to get out of some type of regret or sadness i'm seeing it because you have nothing but blessings and fulfillment coming towards you but it is a choice that needs to be made for you to be this victor for you to be this winner, for you to come out on top. What's the five of cups? You need to, yeah, it's time for you to get clear. King of swords, really stand in your ground. And this is not giving a flying F. The king of swords is very, very brutal, very direct, very clear with how they communicate and speak. They speak with intelligence. They speak with the truth. The king of swords is like lawyer, doctor type. They don't take no mess. Okay, well, yeah, there's a, there's a breakup that needs to take place here. Or there's a breakup that's getting ready to take place. Someone here is going to be heartbroken once you put this law in order. Once you put these, this, this structure in motion, somebody is going to cause a breakup. It's going to cause somebody to be heartbroken. <clears throat> somebody has been doing spells. Virgo energy, the magician. Okay, they've been manifesting. Wow, it could be a queen of cups in the reverse. This could be someone you have a child with or family with. This could be a water sign or a Virgo. Why is the queen of cups in the reverse? Somebody here wants you to be mentally unbalanced, mentally unstable, mentally unsecure. Or this could be their energy where they could be insecure. Oh, my goodness. They, they, this, is, this was a plan. This was a plan. Oh, this is a queen of wands in the reverse. Oh, you need to stay away from this person. Mm -hmm. Somebody, mm, stay away from this individual. This could be male or female. Okay, this is just the energies coming out, the signs. But whoever this energy is, this is an energy I'm feeling. You need to stay the hell away from this individual. They spread their legs thin, wide, broad, all of it. Okay? High and wide. They are very bossy, immature, childish, aggressive, a tyrant. This is a brutal type of individual that is trying to have some type of control over you or over your manifestations and what's coming towards you because you have another lover that you could choose with the lover's card. You don't have to stay with this individual. Who is this queen of wands, queen of cups? You need to stay away from this person. Yes. Ooh, the card went underneath my couch. Oh, I got it. Oh, somebody's about to get caught red-handed for what they've been doing. This is someone that's coming towards you. They keep trying to give you love, but they're trying to cause defeat in your life. Okay, they're trying to cause defeat. Somebody's mentally unstable, they're, they're mentally unbalanced, they're promiscuous, a hoe, a free-for-all, 
okay they they use sex and emotional manipulation to get their way this is this is a very uh um unhealed energy individual okay and they're very much stressed out because they realize that you're getting ready to come out on top for some of y'all this could be a male and they're just in a mm. <laughs> Or this could be another female that's doing this to y'all. Okay, for some of y'all, for the females, the empress is watching. This could be a female that's doing this. That's that's trying to throw spells at your connection, at you. What's this magician about? Yeah, somebody here. It, it, they, 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 mm. With the knight of pentacles. What's the page of cups? Oh, there you go, Empress. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. The Queen to the King of Swords. This is someone's partner that's doing this to y'all. Someone here could be married and they're going through a divorce because the King and the Queen of Swords are two people that are, are together. But these people are tyrants. They're very aggressive. They're very brutal. They like to plan. They like to dictate. They like to. This is a couple that's doing this. There's some type of couple that's together that's throwing spells at an Empress. This could be a man that you could have been connected to that had somebody on the side, which is a queen of swords individual, which is a really a queen of wands, queen of cups in the reverse. Ooh, he should have known better. Maybe he does. Well, he attracted what is like him. So, yeah, I see it. This woman is very promiscuous. She's very flighty. She's coming. She, she's, she's throwing things at you because she feels like you are a child, page of cups. You're innocent. And she's teaming. This is, this is a team. Somebody is teaming up against you. Because they know that you stand alone. You are this empress. You are this divine being. Oh, I don't know what I didn't tap into. But there's a couple that is doing this against you. You could have, who's this king of swords? Yeah, and this person is trapped. They're trapped in some type of past event. This is this is definitely someone that's trapped. Yeah, this is, yeah. They want a new beginning with you. Or they took, they took a pathway that led them to becoming entrapped eight of swords and it has to do with something in the past i don't know what i didn't tap into y'all you could have been how is this person connected to the empress yeah this could have been someone y'all have kids with or family with or you could have been in love with this person ten of cups you felt like this person was happiness to you was that was everything to you Ooh, but this is someone that's aggressive hostile they want their way yeah they look at this the king of wands we already got the king of wands and the we, look at this Karmic's individual. This is a, so someone's in a karmic relationship. That's why the devil card popped out first. It's a couple here that's doing this against y'all. For some of y'all, it's a couple that's doing this. It is a king of swords and a queen of swords that have teamed up. And this queen of swords is really a queen of cups, queen of pentacles, queen of cups, queen of um, wands. Ugh, in the reverse. She does spell work, dark matter. The queen of wands is a black witch, a dark witch. Okay? This King of Swords, he could be very cold, cynical, okay, like a tyrant individual, which is, and, and it's like he he could be working together with this, um, with his counterpart, whatever, with this woman, his his his, uh, his low vibrational counterpart, soulmate, okay, to try to come up against you. Mm -mm. Someone here could have tattoos. Uh uh. Ooh, buddy. The letter N could be significant. Yeah. You, you, so you don't need to react. But it's like something here. You don't need to be too quick to react. Yeah, someone here is hiding a secret pregnancy from you. And as I said that, don't be too quick to react. I just said that. I just said this. Yeah, for some of y'all, this could be your twin flame. But this person's in karmic energy. It could be a karmic Taurus, okay? You're heading towards your destiny. In the next 24 hours, it's getting ready to be something serious that takes place. The letter I could be significant. You're never alone. The letter N could be significant as well. You have love that's all around you. This is first, middle, or last initial, yours or theirs. Yeah, someone here was trying to set you up, and it came out in the reverse. So it didn't work. The letter D could be significant. Okay, this person could be gay on the down low or bisexual. The 
the letter P. Ooh, the letter P could be significant. Oh, this is not true love and marriage. This is not true love and marriage with this individual. Yeah, your angels and ancestors are protecting you from this person, from this individual. Something is just toxic. Yeah. Look at this. Mm -mm. This person wants to hold you back. Don't let the past hold you back. Came out in the verse. They want to hold you back. They want to build an empire with you now. Okay, they want to have his and hers, but no, there's time. It, it, two, two, two is significant. Okay, there's a new beginning that's coming, and you have the power to manifest with the divine, and they want you to say no. Okay, this could be happening in a week for some of y'all. This is someone that only wanted money. Your ex only wanted money, or they could be finding out their ex only wanted money. This is a no. You need to say no to this individual. You need to reject them. It's a no. Yeah, your spirit guides have stepped in to help you guys. Okay, for, for some of y'all, this could be someone that has BDE. They got big energy, okay? So it could be very hard or they could be very tempting with that devil energy being the first card wanting to pop out. Yeah, somebody here, you can expect communication in one to two days and it's because this person's going through bad karma. Yeah, again, your angels and your ancestors are protecting you because your ex, this ex that's coming towards you, they only wanted money from you. They only wanted your resources. Someone here could have braids or dreads. How long is this reading now? Oh, I'm about to stop. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, there could have been something that they were trying to do with pictures on a phone and it didn't work. I'm seeing here, yeah, get ready for something to take place in the winter time. Be mindful of some type of fake friends around you as well. Or oh, this person could have fake friends around them. Yeah, this is also, children are a factor in this connection. Someone definitely is connected to someone that they're married to. They could be in divorce. They may, they may hate each other. The king and queen of swords don't like each other. They hate each other. They communicate very viciously to one another, but they're together because of intellect, okay, of money, of resources. That's why they stay in, in the partnership and the connection. Or because they both are, are, are very evil, okay? Just being honest, the king and queen of swords are not nice people, okay? I understand that you are never alone. You are never, ever, ever alone. How are we going to close this out? Yeah, you deserve love, Taurus. You are lovable. Mm. You may not feel that because you're not dealing with someone that's your true love. You're not dealing with true love at this time. You're dealing with a false sense of love. Yeah, and this is someone that doesn't want you to stay optimistic about your love life. Yeah, this is someone that's deceiving you in all ways and all aspects. This is crazy. And they act like they're your soulmate. You really do have a soulmate that's coming towards you or that, that could be in your energy. Yeah, this is someone that could be like, could be like very playful or fun or they could be wanting to like have fun with you but it's all a facade i'm seeing here you need to love yourself first something is a lack of self-respect whatever this playful energy that's coming it could be even playful with sex it's, it's a lack of self-respect a lack of morals in regards to dealing with this individual it's not good this is someone that mm -mm. what's the final message anything else i don't think i use this deck for y'all yeah, someone is not trying to take accountability. They also connected to someone, and they're not—it's not even their kids. They could be taking care of somebody, or they could be with someone, and it's not even their children. Yeah, you have a new woman that's coming in, ooh, or a new man that's coming in, and you're gonna be living the lux life. This is abundance. This is blessings coming towards you. Okay, I'm also seeing here. Yeah, someone is living in a place, and it's not even their house either. Oh my goodness. There's about to be a physical fight that breaks out in a place that's not their house. Ooh, we also have here cookies. Someone here may smoke or they could have like a sugar um, addiction, like the cookies, the sweet tooth. But yeah, someone here is getting ready to get caught up. They could have blonde hair. They could be a father. If someone here has a father, this person is sexually frustrated. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're about to meet a man of God for the women. You're about to meet a man of God for the men. You're about to meet a woman of God. Okay, yeah, you are in control. Don't ever forget that. Someone here is trying to have some type of control over you. You could have a child with this individual. They could be a father figure. Okay, yeah, I cannot make it up. You're getting ready to meet a woman of God for the men. Yeah, someone just literally doesn't have what you need. You need to let them go so that you can level up in all ways and all aspects. I hope this helped y'all.
May peace and blessings be to y'all always, y'all. And I will be seeing y'all on the next video.